What's up, YouTube? This is Galaxy Apps, and this is my second video. And I figured I'd do an app review on an app, a launcher called. Let's see if you guys can see this, but it's called iLauncher right there with the i. And this app is free on the app on the market. Um, there's a free version. I have the paid version, and the free version, um, it's basically the same, but it's just free and. There's no ads in the free version either, but this is a paid version. And basically what this app is, it's called iLauncher. And it's only $2 on the app mark on the market. Only $2 and one cent. And basically what this app is, is it imitates iOS for iPhone and all those other iOS devices. And basically what this app is is just see it looks like iOS. <laughs> It looks exactly like iOS, and it has all the apps, just apps. That's all it is. And then a the little search bar over here. I'm going to talk about the bad things about this app and the good things. First thing that's bad is that when you push the menu button, nothing happens. You don't get that little thing that used to come up that used to give you access to add a wallpaper and all that. You can't do that. That's what kind of sucks. Um, when you push the home button, it gives you that little animation thing like iOS does which is really cool and that's basically the only bad thing about this app. The good things about the app is that the notification bar still works which is really cool and another good thing about the app is that it's really smooth really just no lag on this. Uh, it works on any Android phone I think I already said that but um, it works on any Android phone and another th good thing about this app is when you hold down on one of the apps in the launcher and then you drag, you get an app and you drag it on top of another one, it creates a folder like this. And see the little folder right there? It creates a folder, which is really tight. And then you tap on the folder and then it shows you what apps you have in the folder. And you can put more apps in the folder like, I want videos, I want videos in that folder. It creates more room in your home screen, which is really cool. And um, it looks exactly like iOS. I mean, just look at that looks exactly like iOS and it's really smooth over here we have the search what I was talking about if you like just push I and it gives you all your apps I launch right there all the apps and it keeps scrolling down you get all your music that starts with I it keeps scrolling down over there you can just search the web for I or whatever you type down choose to look up in the search over here and really just works really smoothly, just like iOS. Looks really similar to iOS, as you guys can see. And you can even put more, like uh, the folder. You can put more apps down here on the dock, but wherever. You can customize it the way you want it to look like. Um, some things that don't look like iOS is that when you go in the browser, it's still your stock browser. It doesn't have like a special iOS or anything. So it's just a launcher, basically, and it's really good launcher. It looks exactly like iOS. Um, you can't put widgets on the screen, which really kind of sucks. I wish you could do that. So that's why, maybe because they just want it to look like iOS, and it, they really did a good job. And this app is completely free in the market. Go check it out. And I just want to show you guys that you can get iOS for your Android, just not completely. And the screen. It's still the same, the lock screen. And it's a really good app, especially if you want iOS on your phone. See you guys later. Comment, subscribe. Peace.